The dynamic link is like a gateway which allows you to pass programs from one Adobe program to the next without you exporting the individual project that you're operating on the particular program and importing it to another program. I know it's confusing, let me explain. Let's say you have a project in Premiere Pro that you want to composite. You can just link it to After Effects, compose it to After Effects and every change that you made in After Effects will be made back in Premiere Pro so you don't have to export the program, the project in After Effects but you just have to just edit it in After Effects and the changes will be automatically made in Premiere Pro so you have better results and it will save you a lot of time. Long time ago before I knew about the dynamic link my life was miserable. When I found out about the dynamic link I decided to take advantage of it. So today I'm going to show you the workflow of the dynamic link from start to finish stay until the end of this video so you don't miss a thing. So I have already taken my project and imported it to Premiere Pro uh, ready for editing and um, uh, so I'm just going to right click on this I'm going to double click on this and um, I will put uh, the in points by uh, pressing I or just uh, clicking on this icon right here and then I'll scrub through a few frames a few frames forward and then I will click the O button or this for uh, the out mark now if you take this if you click here and drag I will take only the video file and if I click this and drag I will take only the audio file but first I'm going to right click on my video create a new sequence now I'm going to delete this I'm going to show you that trick if you didn't know if I drag this I will take only the audio file you know even Peter McKinney didn't know this till the late 2018 <laughs> let's do this anyway I have my video right here yeah uh, it's just me uh, clean play just me coming here sitting rubbing my face and talking to a camera like an idiot now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on this video and uh, choose replace with after effects composition when i click this the dynamic link will be like activated and then it will take my video and send it to after effects for compositing so if i click this replace with after effects comp with after effects composition i will just see after effects uh, loading and after effects opens up very quickly if you have a supercomputer like mine. Now, the first window will pop up right here and then it will ask you to save now. This is a very important part because you need to save this or else your video, you'll mess the whole project like everything will be ruined. Don't ever try this at home. Don't ever try not to save. So you need to save this. Uh, I will just save this dynamic link and click save and then it will say because I already saved it so I will just say yes and you see as you can see my video has now opened up here in um, After Effects so let me try to see if if I edit anything here will it change on Premiere Pro keep in mind below my taskbar Premiere Pro is still open and even though I'm using After Effects right now, so I'm going to try to put a, a, a simple effect on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this. I will go, I will go to Layer Duplicate, right click on the top video, Time, and Freeze Frame. Now I'll take this video, drag it down. Uh, if I, I, I. I I make this video invisible the top video you can see the bottom video is now just a still frame now I'll bring this back to visible 
and now what I'm going to do I'm going to take the place where I was sitting and I'm going to drag this uh, so here I got this here I got this and then I will uh, go to transform uh, click the stopwatch on opacity set it to zero then go a few frames forward and set it to 100 now if I play this this is how it will appear okay now let me see now let me see if I go back to Premiere this will be as you can see my video now is named with a name of which I saved on After Effects dynamic link as you can see here and if I play this uh, as you can see the changes have been applied to this video as well now one thing you haven't noticed this video this video has become small the resolution has become small why because in after effects i have put it on a third if i put it on a quarter when i come back to premiere it's the same case so what i need to do is if i finish doing any changes on this video i should set it back to full and if i come to premiere the resolution will get back to full again as you can see so um let me see that let me see if i can um, uh, put some colors let me see if i change this to uh, black and white and set for mojo okay take this set it to black and white and um uh, Okay, if I come back here and if I play this, you can see it becomes black and white. Well, that's a nice transition to black and white. Why don't we do it right now? As you can see, all the changes that I make on After Effects, I directly made on Premiere Pro. So now I will try to switch this off like cancel after effects and um, uh, get back to premiere so before canceling after effects remember to go to save your file or else your previous file will be uh, corrupted in premiere pro so don't forget to save and then if you delete this and come back to premiere you will have uh, this footage which has been composited in after effects now as you can see right here my video has become red even the timeline here shows a red line which means the video is not playing with a full time uh, every individual frame so maybe if I if I play it a couple of times so now if you have a small computer and even if you have a big computer this can be a problem because it can slow down a project especially at a time that you have a very very large project so what you can do is right click on this video and go to render choose render and replace so if i click on that i will be uh, welcomed with this beautiful and sexy window so what I'm going to choose here, I'm going to choose individual clip. You can choose sequence if you have uh, a full sequence of videos that have been composited or have been passed through the dynamic link. The video clip if you want to edit on the video clip. And the video clip is good because it will make changes to every single clip uh, individually and it will not mess things up. So I'll choose individual clip and then um, I will leave uh, the rest settings at the R and press OK. As you can see now the project has a different color. It's not red anymore. The line here is yellow which means we are going to play this uh, 
with real time render as you can see so let's say you have already made the changes on the, this individual project and you have already uh, closed after effects and you want to make changes on this video what you can do is you can minimize uh, your project come to your profile then go to my document and find the saved project so mine was uh, dynamic link I should be okay this should be the one I will right click on this and open it now if I open this what will open up is the previous project that I made now what I want to do right now is I want to delete this first clip here and I just want this to appear and I will right click on this go to effects and delete the black and white then I will save this clip once more. Now, if I open up Premiere uh, and play this, as you can see, this clip that we rendered and replaced does not really change, it remains the same because we rendered it and it made a new copy of a rendered version of the video that we composited in Africa. But if we take this video that was previously um, transferred to After Effects and we drag it back here and you try to uh, play it, you can see that all the changes that we are now making in After Effects are being made in this video. So what you can do, you can delete the previous video if you are fine if you are fine with the changes that have been made right click and let's click the and this unit this and you can just right click uh, render it render and replace or if you uh, want to make some more changes uh, to this like the inverting let me say putting effects like uh, curves and yeah adding some contrast adding some contrast yeah. okay adding some saturation some situation and a little bit of CBY and if you come back here uh, you can see that the changes have already been seen here and if we try to play this you can see that it has uh, it it has already changed but the only problem is it plays slow so you gotta render uh, and replace this again in the video clips uh, like how we did before that is how you work on the dynamic link that's how you link in the video clips so if you finish here you can just uh, uh, go to file save make sure it's on the full uh, full resolution and you can just close this box and uh, your project will be here safe as long as you have rendered it with uh, all the changes that you made in After Effects. So guys, uh, that's how you work with the dynamic link. If this video was helpful to you, don't forget to like this video. If this video gets two likes, I'm going to make another tutorial next Wednesday. And if you don't, I'm going to find you and I'm going to kill you. Be there on Friday.